Welcome back. This is part two in the series of learning to map any market, any time frame. In this lesson, I'm going to emphasize how structuring a market in this simple way enables us to follow a market live. So we'll talk about how this enables us to follow a live market and develop a connection to the market, get the market's rhythm. This is very important to a trader. One of the big things we also need to learn as we follow markets live is how to change with change. When the market changes, we need to change and we need ways to see that. This is the place where most traders get stuck. So first we're going to pick up where we left off. I'm going to do a little review. We started with a, a stock chart and I want to show various time frames various instruments. Here we are on a tick chart. I have uh, my futures charts which I day trade. And then we'll also look at some currencies later. Alright so if you watched the first one I left off here. If you didn't just pick it up. Structure the market. A new high confirms a swing low. Standard definition. Very objective. Very simple. A swing is a swing is a swing. This is also a swing. This is also a confirmed low. And so we make a further distinction. Major and minor. Major is going to be the largest reaction leg in your frame. So this is the reaction leg. This is the impulse leg. This is the reaction leg. This is the impulse leg. As this is the biggest reaction leg here, it's going to be major. Now when I say frame, I mean however much data you're looking at. Right now this is my frame. It's like a picture frame. So what I'm going to do is first draw my swings. A new high confirms a swing low. And I'm going to look at the size of my reaction leg. And I'm going to say is this the biggest reaction leg in this frame? If I look I have a swing here. I have a swing here. And it's bigger than that one. And it's bigger than that one. So that's my largest reaction leg in this frame. Now these charts we're looking at come from my own trading. So as we watch this, it doesn't have to hold and it doesn't have to not hold. If it breaks, then we follow it the other way. But as price is coming down, we want to be able to follow it. We want to have a place to measure. We want to have something to measure against, some way to orient ourselves. Okay, we're making swings about this big. So right off the bat, the market is mapped. And this is how this particular market turned out. Now if you look, this is also how our median line tools work. A, B, C, a median line takes the A and the B and projects it from C. And so that is a swing, right? See the swing in here. And then we're swinging this way. And so, for instance, when you get a handle on this and following it live, you can also, which we'll cover in the next session, learn to use the minor swings along the path. And then any time price pulls back, you're going to just project. Any time price pulls back. So forget about the lines for a minute. We don't want to complicate. You're going to project and you're going to follow price until it doesn't do that. And so this was after we did the video. So this was that next place where I was measuring and looking. Okay, next I'd like to emphasize the following a market live with this simple easy method and following it through its changes. So I'm going to take the NASDAQ 
from just last week. Now go ahead and structure this. Remember, a new high is going to confirm a swing low, just like this. And then we're going to look for the biggest reaction leg. The reaction leg will be the pullback leg. And that will be your reaction leg. And that will be your reaction leg. Now, you follow a market live through its paces. It doesn't make this a system. That means you watch it. You have a place to measure against. You have seen the rhythm in the market. If it goes past it, you've learned something. If it holds right near it and turns, you've learned something. Now, one of the things I'm trying to get across in these lessons is to learn how to eliminate 98% of the nonsense and just see in waves whether they're big or whether they're small does not matter okay so I'm just seeing in waves and so if it turns here it's this guy's job to make a new high so I'll watch does it make a new high yes and then I'll project again And as you see, this one goes farther. So now what do I do? Well, I change with change. And so now I'm going to follow it the other way. The lower, I'm going to keep following it with my largest. See, we've turned. And now we're doing this. It's like this market went like this and then turned and now we follow it down. If it turns back up, we follow it back up. Okay, so you get the idea how you can turn with your markets. Now, when I say you're going to look for the largest reaction leg in your frame that means if this is your frame this is your frame it's like a picture frame see it doesn't matter how much data you use you just follow the definitions if you want to use this much data this is your frame you should quickly be able to map this and see the big wave boom 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 this is its reaction leg this is the reaction leg. Don't go mixing, going back and forth time frames. Keep it simple. If this is your frame, just see this wave. If this is your frame, just see this wave and turn with it. All right, so now look, let's look at some currencies. We'll do a little more practice in recent markets. Um, Let's keep going with this following aspect in the Aussie, okay? And this is stuff we do in the sessions and we follow these things live and a lot of members have actual trades on some of these places. And so if you're looking at the Aussie, so I'm taking you back through what we've done in our sessions as the markets were rolling live. If you're looking at the Aussie, you want the ability to take this what looks like noise and structure it. And say what's the size of my reaction leg? About yay big, about yay big. That's my new swing. So I'm beginning to structure, right? You start to see the stair stepping. And when this makes a new high, I project this one more time. Let's give this guy some room. And remember, as it turns, it's its job to do what? To keep stair-stepping. It's going for the high. When it cracks, what do we do? We turn around and we go the other way. 
Now, this takes a little bit of getting the hang of, you know, and this is why we do our sessions and talk about these things every time we meet. And then you follow it, right? See, I'm just seeing in waves. And then you follow it live, right? You just keep moving it and you keep following it live. Okay, it turned and then we'll follow that one. And you can see basically, right? You can see it's going that way and then it turned around and now it's going this way. And so every time this market here, you make the projection. If it doesn't make it, you, know, you keep following it. You keep following it keep following it. It turns right about that red and so you're seeing a rhythm in this market. It's showing you a rhythm. You have a connection to this market and we'll just take this right into live. Right about there and that's coming into Monday. So if we start to beat this red then we know something's changing. Let's come back to a simple one. Another one we did in our live sessions this week, just for a little more practice. So we looked at the euro. This is how we came in and looked at the euro. This is what we decided we wanted to pay attention to in the euro. Okay. This was in our live sessions. Now, if you were to map this market, where's the major swing? It's like this new low confirms the high is it the biggest reaction leg on the board yes it's bigger than that one yes okay the next biggest will be this one and you can see you should be able to begin to see there's a rhythm to markets these things can teach you these simple methods but we'll talk about miners in the third part and so this is what we were looking at as we came into Monday. This was our map. Which a lot of people took this trade. And so it's just showing you a simple wave. Again, price does not have to turn, but it's giving you a place to look. Okay? So that gives you the ability to come into any market and be able to see clearly. I want to point out, I'm not telling you what to do at these places. You can buy a newsletter for that. They'll tell you what to do and everybody will give their give you their opinion about what they predict the market should do. What I want everybody to have is the ability to come in here, map the market, see the facts of the matter, and make your own judgment calls. Because if you notice, there's a lot of opinions out there and a lot of predictions. But we want the ability to come in here and map this, structure it, find the simple facts, and then make our own informed decisions about what we're going to do. This is independence as a trader.